Hello and welcome. Welcome to the MIFA Pathway Learning Series. My name is Jennifer Bento Pinion. I'm here at MIFA on the college planning team as director of MIFA Pathway. And today we will be taking about 15 minutes to highlight our resume builder tool. Uh, and just some logistics before we start. Uh, all participants will be on mute throughout the presentation. We are recording this session and will follow up with an email that will include the recording and our contact information if you have any follow-up questions. And this session is also eligible for a quarter of a PDP point, so be certain to take advantage of that. Uh, MIFA is a not-for-profit state authority created back in 1982 to help families plan, save, and pay for college. And as an extension of all the great resource that MIFA has to offer, MIFA Pathway is a no-cost, comprehensive college and career planning web portal that's available for students in grades 6 through 12. So our goal is to help you become familiar with the functions and the features of MIFA Pathway. And again, today we'll highlight our resume builder tool. So here we are on the main page of MIFA Pathway. So it's mifapathway.org. And first students would, be, would need to register an account as a first time user. So the student is just clicking on, I am a student. And then up at the top of the page here as a first time user, they would register an account. So they would go through that registration process, first name, last name, date of birth. They would select the city or town that their school is in. So just as an example, we'll select Acton. Once they select that city or town, then all of the schools within that town are included within this drop down box. They click submit. On the subsequent pages, they would create a username, they create a password. They do have to have a working email address in order to register an account. So they can either use a personal or school email address. Uh, something to note is that we never take away these accounts from students. So sometimes it's uh, advantageous to use their personal email address because those school email addresses are disabled when the student graduates. So just something to think about when the student's registering their account. And they also need to create two security questions. So by the email or the security questions that they create, they can reset their password if need be. So very simple, basic registration process. Once they create those credentials, they would then sign into their account. So we have the username, we have the password, we're logging in. And when the student logs in, they are brought to their dashboard page. So this system, MIFA Pathway, is available for students in grades 6 through 12. So based upon the year of graduation that they put in when they register that account, uh, the activities, those activities would be appropriate for the grade level when they log into their dashboard. So here we have Alice, and she is a grade 11 student. And one of the first things that we encourage students to start doing at a very young age, so that sixth grade, seventh grade, is start uh, building out their profile details. So this will serve as a foundation for all of the great things that the student is doing both inside and outside of school. So we have the dashboard here under create profile. The student would go over to those profile details right underneath the create profile. And within the profile details, as you can see here, there are a number of different sub tabs. So this is where the student would start adding again, all of the great things that they're doing both inside and outside of school. So personal information on this first tab here, they can edit this, this page, edit all pages, but if they need to change their, um, their phone number or if they need to change their year of graduation, they can do so on that page. The school tab, this is where the student would see the school that they currently attend. And then if they attended a previous school, they can add that in right on this page as well. And then also on this page, they can add any college coursework that they have taken. So they very simple to click add new. They'll be brought to that page where they can select the college that they, and that's, this is our extensive college list that comes from the Peterson's database. So they select the college, put the city at the state, uh, the course name, and then the course date, and then they just save save that. And once all of the pages work similarly so that they, the student clicks add new and they put the information in, and then of course they need to save it. So once they save it, it's on this page here underneath the school 
school, school tab. Uh, academics, the student can add their high school GPA, if it's weighted or not, number of AP courses that they've taken. This is all managed by the student, so they can also add their SAT scores, ACT, TOEFL, come back in as they've taken those standardized tests and add those in. They can edit the information, of course. Activities, this is where the student would put in sports, clubs. So they select that type of activity. So let's say the student wants to add in some community service. They may have done community service grades 9, 10, and 11. They can say maybe they were just doing that uh, during the school year. Do you plan to continue at college? Maybe not. And then they can add position held. They can add a description. Important that if they are typing anything in, any of the areas that, that they type in information, they need to make sure that that is capitalized appropriately and spelled. Uh, you know, the, the, our system doesn't have spell check right within the platform here. So just make sure that everything uh, looks as they want it to look when they, when they save it and they add it to their resume. Honors, so once they add an activity, again, it's all on this, the main page of that uh, activity page. So as you can see, Alice has been pretty busy. So this will build as the students add additional information, of course. If there's something that they want to remove, they can do so as well. So maybe something that they added in grade seven or eight maybe isn't as applicable when they get into those higher grade levels. And so they can add and delete uh, as necessary. Honors and awards this is where they can add if they've uh, gotten on the honor roll or high honor roll, any awards they've received. The skills and strengths tab, this is where they can apply uh, general skills and or technology skills. So the skills that are included here can be applied from the skills assessment. So when the student takes that skills assessment, if they deem a skill as high, then they have the option to add that skill to their resume, but they can also just select a skill from the dropdown if they would like to. So very simple. And then moving on to employment. So all of the, the tabs that I'm showing you here, all of the information tie into our resume builder. And I'll show you that in just a moment. So student can add any employment that, as you can see here, Alice has had quite a few, quite a few jobs. They can add internships as well if they if they would like to within the within the employment tab. And then last but not least, we have the certification. So certification tab here. As you can see, Alice has uh, been certified in CPR, Photoshop. Very simple to add. All, all of the pages add are, they act in the same manner here where the student is adding new. They can just click add, type it in. There's a little example there. Issue date, expire or not, expiration date does. And then they can also take, take off any of these that they've added if they, if they choose to. All right, so when they start working through all of these tabs here and start populating the information within those tabs, we're going to, we're going to jump over to the resume builder here. So the resume builder is a page which is a compilation of all of the information that the student has added within those profile details. So I'll scroll down here, you can see that employment is all listed on the left, education, student has added on the right hand side here, those course, those college courses that they've taken, honors and awards, activities, all of what I just showed you within those profile pages all appear on this resume builder page. So now when the student wants to create a draft of a resume, they can create as many drafts of a, res of a resume as they like. So maybe they have a, res a resume that is appropriate for a job that they're applying to or a college that they're applying to. Very simple to add an objective. So the student can just type their objective in here. So let's just, let's just create it. Let's create an actual resume so I can show you what it looks like. So maybe this objective is responsible. Oops, you have to spell it right. Res does give you the little hi highlight, but doesn't tell you how to spell it. Responsible high school student, oops, sorry, student looking for 
the light guard position where or what it takes to be a senior lifeguard. Okay, so the student has added an objective and then they can, whatever they do not want to appear on this particular draft, they can just deselect. So maybe the student is saying, okay, I don't maybe need to include all of these skills. I can just deselect uh, what I do not want to appear on a particular draft and they definitely want to keep their CPR certification. So we've deselected what we do not want to appear. We've added, it up, added our objective, and now we're just going to click save. Now, what I typically do is I'll put a date of this resume. So you, student can name it whatever they like, but I like to put a date so I know when I've saved it. So we've saved that resume. So now we're going to jump up to, here we are. So the, the saved resume automatically populates onto the page. So you can see the objective that I added, name, uh, address at the top, objective, and all of that, uh, the, the profile details that I wanted to appear on this particular draft. So here it is within MIFA pathway. So now what the student can do is they can change the resume style if they like. So they can change that to modern if they like. And then from here, they can download as a PDF and or download as a Word document. So downloading as a Word document obviously allows the student to change, you know, they can save it to their, to their device, download, uh, manipulate the, the format from there if they like, change the font, change the order, but then they have that saved on their laptop in addition to having it saved in NEPA Pathway so they can share it out as, as appropriate and as they like. So just to go back here to the main resume builder page, I, will, I would like to show you all of the, uh, where all the student can view all of their saved resumes. So we just click on view saved resumes. And as you can see here, we have quite a few that Alice has saved, the most recent being at the bottom here, dated 9-21-22. So the student can just easily bring up a draft. So I just brought up that draft that I just created but that's how the student would access those saved resumes. So again, they can create different, different drafts for different purposes. Okay, so just to recap, student creates their account, they register as a new user, they create their credentials. When they log in, they are brought to that dashboard. So here again is the, the dashboard, and then they would jump over to the profile details, start, start populating these sub tabs here and suggested that the student comes in at least a couple of times a year to update those profile details. And then they would have all of that great information and all tracked right within uh, the profile details and the resume builder. Okay, so we thank you for joining today. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we'll be following up with a, an email that will have the recording of this session, along with our contact information, if you have any follow-up questions. And uh, again, this session is eligible for a quarter PDP, and, and the information that in, to get to that uh, evidence of learning form is also in our follow-up email. Okay. Thank you for joining today. Have a great day.